hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i will demonstrate how to create a single zip for the lambda deployment in this case is using a python runtime actually the case is quite uh, often to see because let's say we have this kind, this kind of lambda function that the the idea is to get the response from the other api so in this case is the random api random word app heroku.app.com to get the random uh, word based on the number parameter so basically we can use this request library to get the response from that api so basically we can have something like this response result is the result request dot get and then the api and then the num the parameter from the user which is the number and get the json format and then we can give the result the response to the user but the thing is when we try to deploy this kind of code by adding something like this actually it will fail because lambda doesn't have this uh, request library we can check we can try to add this one okay and let's add number is one it's still internal server error because lambda doesn't have this request uh, library so what we can do actually so we can do uh, create the zip deployment for this lambda that include this library this request library so i create the script for the zip generator you can access in the my github repository i will post the link in the uh, description yeah basically we can add this uh, zip generator okay during the development and we execute the zip generator so later we can have the zip that contain the code that needed by the lambda to run the function itself so yeah basically we only need two files the first is the zip generator.sh to create the zip and the other one is the requirement.txt that containing the list of library that we need to install or we need to include okay let's say in this case is request let me show you the code itself using the vs code so this is the same code actually that i uh, show in the browser so you can see that it will import the request and it has a response to send back to the user and it has the requirement.txt in this case i need to install the request so basically what i need to do now is let me show you the ls so i don't have the http api exploration project.zip now so what i need to do is only run the zip generator and point to the folder name the folder of project that i want to create the zip so and just enter then it will do the next step to create the zip so when i do something like this again and grab the http we can see that we have two first is the folder for http exploration and the second is the zip, the zip file for the http api exploration so we can see something like this and the next thing is we can try to deploy this zip to uh, our lambda function okay let's try to plot this zip zip file okay http api exploration and let's save it will took us a moment actually but then uh, no problem so we can wait uh, for a moment for this okay and after the version is changed okay and the version is already updated we can try to call this api again and the expectation is this uh, same request will be give us a result with the single uh, word because we, we specify the number parameter is only one okay it's successfully uploaded let's see for a moment okay let's is still last modified seven minutes ago let's reload again okay last modified already changed to 27 seconds ago and let's retry this request as you can see that now the result uh, is shown no? and there is no internal server error again and when we try to change the parameter it also see we, we also see the different result it means that the request uh, the request library already included in the code and there is no such error like uh, the module not one again yeah so this is the simple demo for the script the zip generator is for the AWS lambda zip generator for python runtime so if you have any question or any difficulties by executing this uh, script you can put your feedback in the comment and if you have any request for the feature you can also put in the comment or create the 
uh, issue in this uh, repository okay i hope this video helped you to create the zip for the lambda and see you in the next video